এটা আমার ইয়ে না তাই কাজে আমি ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার কোর্স বিটিএল সিক্স ওয়ান ওয়ান প্রোবায়োটিক্স প্রি বায়োটিক্স অ্যান্ড পোস্ট বায়োটিক্স ইউ নো প্রোবায়োটিক্স আইদার প্লান্ট অর অ্যানিম্যাল অর ফিশ দ্য ন্যাচারাল সোর্স ইজ দ্য হোস্ট অর্গানিজম অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য নেচার দে আর অলসো প্লেইং এ ভাইটাল রোল ফর দ্য ফিটনেস অফ দে আর হোস্ট দ্যাট ইজ আইদার প্লান্ট অ্যানিম্যাল অর হিউম্যান অর ফিশেস our job is to discover uh, the uh, them from the nature and uh, then modulate uh, the population of the beneficial uh, most uh, promising and beneficial probiotics uh, in the uh, any uh, organism system to get the higher benefit but uh, usually uh, in the past 100 years uh, scientists discovered a single organism uh, and uh, applied them in the uh, practical field some of them work and some of them didn't didn't work because probiotics uh, in the natural ecosystem uh, they are uh, wa- working in uh, you know collaborative uh, way so not a single uh, organism uh, uh, this is why uh, our understanding in the probiotic complex the bio complex uh, is still poor uh, recent uh, advancement of uh, metagenomics uh, allowing us to discover uh, the whole uh, microbiome uh, present in the ecosystem they are uh, that are interacting with the host uh and these understanding are fundamental uh, and help us to design a uh, future uh, plant microbiome system for getting the better benefit uh, uh, not using a single one but still people are getting some single microorganism which uh, play the dominant role uh, in the fitness of the uh, host and i am uh, today i am sharing one of the interesting paper uh, published by uh, uh, japanese and chinese researchers and japanese researcher who actually uh, uh, was the pioneer of this work was my host of jsps uh, postdoctoral fellowship program and his name yusuke asuyuki uh, 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 hashiduko Uh, his name is Hashiduku, Dr. Hashiduku, Professor Hashiduku. Uh, he died just a couple of years ago, unfortunately, premature died. And he was about, uh, you know, a couple of years senior uh, to me. Uh, and uh, uh, he is no more, but his paper published uh, uh, recently. Uh, I'm sharing uh, this paper and please go through that paper uh, and uh, you shall be evaluated on this topic and i i'm sure this paper will give you huge insight about uh, the role of microorganism uh, in, uh, in the uh, eukaryotic system uh, either it is plant or it is human or it is other animals Uh, is it visible the paper the yes sir yes. okay thank you you see the paper uh, uh, the research article uh, was published in nature plants uh, which is a very high ranked journal impact factor more than 13 bacterial seed endophyte shapes disease resistance in rice very uh, simple statement uh, bacterial seed endophyte uh that means uh they discovered possibly a seed endophytic bacteria uh in rice seed uh, that uh, are associated with the disease resistance of the rice plant and here you see yusuyuki hashiduku he is no more uh, in this art but uh, he uh, contributed 
actually he initiated the project and then uh, many Chinese people uh, and other researchers, they completed the work. Let us go through, uh, 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 you know, uh, this uh, paper abstract, then you can get the sm uh, smell of the research. Cereal crop production is severely affected by seed-borne bacterial diseases across the world. Uh, locally occurring disease resistance in various crops remain elusive. Here we have observed that rice plants of the same cultivar can be differentiated into disease resistant and susceptible phenotypes under the same pathogen pressure. Following the identification uh, of a seed endophytic bacterium as the resistant conferring agent, integration of high throughput data, gene mutagenesis, and molecular interactions assay facilitated the discovery of the underlying mode of action. And that bacterium was actually Sphingomonas melonis that is accumulated and transmitted across generation in disease resistant rice seeds, confers resistant to disease susceptible uh, uh, phenotypes by producing anthranilic acid. Without affecting cell growth, anthranilic acid interferes with the stigma, sigma factor RPOS of uh, the seed borne pathogen Barkholderia plantari, probably leading to impairment of upstream cascades that are required for virulence factor uh, biosynthesis. The overall finding highlights the hidden role of seed endophytes in the phytopathology paradigm of disease triangles, which encompass the plant, pathogen, and environmental interactions. These insights are potentially exploitable for modern crop cultivation threatened by globally widespread bacterial diseases. This is the, uh, you know, abstract. And if I briefly say uh, what they discovered, they observed that uh, locally uh, uh, cultivar, uh, uh, cultivar of rice uh, among the cultivar, uh, some of the members showed resistant against uh, a bacterial disease caused by Barkholderia plantari. And they uh, look at why uh, some of the members population uh, in the same cultivar, they are resistant against the uh, bacterial disease. And they identified an endophytic bacterium, Sphingomonas melonis, and uh, then they uh, checked uh, the role of Sphingomonas melonis and they discovered that Sphingomonas melonis produces anthranilic acid, a simple, uh, you know, uh, uh, aromatic acid that interfere uh, the sigma factor RPUs of uh, the Barkholderia uh, plantary. And this sigma factor RPUs uh, is responsible for the virulence of the pathogen. Uh, that means uh, the virulence is somehow uh, uh, suppressed by the uh, anthranilic acid. And they concluded that in case of any disease, you know, there is a disease triangle. You need a host, you need a pathogen, and obviously environmental condition plays a role. So in case of environmental condition, they considered uh, Sphingomonas melonis uh, uh, plays a vital role in resistance of uh, rice cultivar, not just genetic uh, may, uh, R gene present in the rice uh, cultivar. This is really amazing. And if we can discover such type of probiotic uh, bacterium in any organ, uh, uh, for, from any organism, Without genetic engineering, you can uh, enhance the disease resistance in the host just by manipulating the uh, uh, microbiome uh, by incorporating uh, that elite 
uh, strain of bacteria. So this is uh, all about from my side. Uh, Shafi, what is your understanding about this uh, uh, bacterial endophyte that is covered uh, associated with the disease resistance in the rice uh, uh, cultivar? I think uh, this cultivar, uh, this local cultivar, has some um, endogenous uh, probiotics. These are uh, producing specially uh, one. Um, especially, they are producing one um, Spingomonas mellonis. And uh, this uh, and this also um, help to control the uh, to control the uh, this disease. So, what is your understanding? How can we exploit this type of fundamental understanding for uh, practical uh, implications? How future research will be guided by this work? Uh, future research, in case of future research, uh, if a lab experiment is successfully uh, uh, done, then we have, we have to go to in large scale, for, you know, especially for the production. Uh, as, uh, especially in the field level, we have to see in the field level, then uh, finally we will get the result. Uh, one point, do you think uh, uh, they uh, found it, uh, uh, this phenomenon uh, in the rice? Uh, it is not interesting to know, uh, whether this phenomenon is ubiquitous in all other organisms like uh, other crops, other animals, or uh, even other species. Uh, the similar phenomena exist or not. What do you think? Uh, then we have to make an experiment because every, in case of every um, plant and animals, they have different conditions, environmental conditions and uh, endophytic conditions. Then we have to we, we have to see the uh, what happened in the inside and what condition is necessary for these microorganisms. Yes, and another uh, another interesting uh, thing is that in case of uh, bacteria, uh, rice variety resistant to bacteria, not only bark holderia, other bacteria. There might be some fingomonas like uh, endophytes uh, present in the sea. They are also playing the role. Uh, what is uh, the insight uh, understanding uh, I mean, uh, what you understood from this research? Because here rice is just a model organism. Uh, we are uh, discussing about the fundamental discovery of an endophyte that is associated with the resistance uh, of disease in the host uh, uh, plant or host organism. What uh, do you understood? Uh, uh, what did you understand from this, uh, you know, work? Rohulamin. Rulamin is absent. Um, maybe um, maybe connection is lost. I think so, sir. Yes, I cannot see him uh, online. Now he's online. Rulamin, what happened? Rulamin? Rulamin, what happened to you? Actually, uh, network has been uh, interrupted. Uh, so, uh, uh, did you listen to my, my uh, uh, discussion uh, on the abstract uh, of this paper? Uh, I am.
Hello? Rahul Amin. Uh, with the uh, how you are not audible, Rahul Amin. Oh, sir, I can hear you, uh, but uh, I can uh, hear you now. Okay, uh, so uh, did you uh, listen uh, my discussion on this uh, abstract of this paper? I am uh, hear a few things. Uh, the main theme is that. We are um, seed-borne pathogen uh, by creating uh, resistance seed, uh, seed borne, uh, resistance uh, resistant variety, and it's uh, actually bacteria uh, Sphingomonas melonis, which secret anthranilic acid, uh, which inhibit the, um, uh, um, which is also I think is a, uh, it is a probiotic uh, bacteria-like organism that inhibit. Um, pathogen transfer through the seed. Okay. Uh, it uh, interferes, the anthranilic acid interferes the sigma factor RPUS uh, because they did the transcriptomic analysis and they found it and they also did some mutagenesis. Uh, mutagenesis means mutation of the, uh, you know, anthranilic bioacid, uh, bio acid biosynthetic pathway. And they found that it interferes Sigma factor RPUs of uh, Barkholderia uh, plantary, which is a pathogen, seed borne pathogen of rice. And uh, uh, that inhibition uh, may uh, in interfere the virulence factor of the uh, Barkholderia plantary. And uh, this discovery, wh what do you understand about this discovery, prokaryotic and eukaryotic interaction? I I do you think it is uh, uh, um, similar phenomena may exist in? Uh, animal uh, bacteria interactions? Yes, sir, uh, nowadays I, I am um, downloaded a few papers where um, Ishirika coli or salmonized uh, salmonella is uh, uh, interrupted by the use of uh, bifidobacterium, which uh, induces the uh, or stimulate the immunity of chicks. Okay, and here the most important thing is that. Uh, they at least discovered uh, one molecule, anthranilic acid, and how anthranilic acid works on the uh, you know pathogenic organism. They also uh, uh, discovered the mechanism by uh, doing uh, you know molecular studies. That means mutation of the uh, genes responsible for anthranilic acid biosynthesis, uh, uh, and they also discovered that this. Uh, you know, Spingomonas melonis uh, transfer in the resistant variety from generation to generation through the seed. So if we can manipulate uh, uh, the population of Spingomonas melonis, uh, for example, during flowering of the rice, if we spray this fungus, then you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, improve the population of Spingomonas melonis uh, in the seed. And that seed, when a uh, uh, farmer uh, uh, plant for germination and uh, sow the seed in the field, uh, higher population of Spingomonas melonis uh, uh, would dominate and uh, uh, suppress the bark holderia plantary, and maybe other organism we don't know because they only considered uh, bark holderia plantary. Anthranilic acid may have other uh, you know, functions also. Uh, because in the organism, uh, a probiotic bacteria uh, may not have a specific job uh, to specifically inhibit a microorganism. They are, you know, inhibitory mechanism or uh, contributing to the host resistance are usually, uh, you know, uh, uh, robust or generalized. So in this uh, paper, uh, uh, they propose that uh, in disease, a uh, host pathogen and environmental conditions, such triangle, uh, usually environmental conditions, scientists always thought about, you know, temperature, light, uh, pH, and other things. But uh, in environmental condition, uh, probiotics are also one of the factors. Now, even we can propose not triangle, 
uh, it is a rectangle uh, of uh, you know uh, uh, disease development plant pathogen uh, uh, abiotic uh, uh, you know factors and biotic factors like uh, sphingomonas melonis let me show you their data very nicely uh, they isolated the organism here you see in case of control uh, a whole seedling uh, a, a growth uh, on uh, the laboratory uh, in the laboratory condition uh, this is the rice and here is the root growth you can see but uh, this is a, a control uh, but uh, in case of uh, susceptible uh, plant uh, which seed carries uh, uh, the bark hold area you see growth is very uh, slow but in case of resistant which contains the sphingomonas growth is uh, uh, even better than the uh, control so uh, here you can see whole seedling uh, 10 days after uh, the growth and the root uh, here interestingly uh, in presence of uh, bacterium uh, in the resistant uh, root hair growth is amazingly higher that means uh, you know, somehow uh, sphingomonas melonis trigger uh, root hair uh, uh, development and root hairs are the main organ to uptake the nutrient from the soil now, this is why the health of the uh, seedling is uh, stronger than others so this is one interesting data uh, uh, which uh, telling us and here is the quantitative data uh, uh, we have seen the qualitative data and they also uh, uh, you know uh, checked by using metagenomics the presence of uh, di uh, different uh, other bacteria associated with the sphingomonas the prevalence of other bacteria uh, and this is interesting study and in our lab we are also uh, thinking to do that uh, and here is the very interesting uh, you see the seedling in control uh, seedling uh, with the uh, uh, sphingomonas uh, bacteria and a uh, seedling growth uh, uh, without bacteria and the susceptible variety susceptible variety uh, you see no disease expression but growth is suppressed but it is also interesting point whether susceptible variety contains some microorganism uh, that uh, uh, in addition to the bark hold area uh, any other organisms which can uh, uh, also play the uh, lower growth of the uh, 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 plant obviously uh, here bark hold area secrets some uh, phytotoxic compound uh, this is why their growth is uh, uh, slow and very interestingly uh, the researcher discovered uh, the secondary metabolite here you see uh, the uh, data uh, of the mass uh, 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 this is the nmr data possibly yes and mass spectrometric data uh, uh, to identify the compound and this is the simple aromatic compound anthranilic acid and this compound may be available uh, in the uh, you know uh, uh, pharmaceutical company and we can get this compound and test in other uh, traits of the plant uh, because this is a very simple compound even uh, a synthetic chemist can easily uh, uh, you know uh, synthesize this uh, uh, simple compound here you see uh, they did lots of work using the pure uh, you know uh, anthranilic acid here you see uh, anthranilic acid uh, here is the you know uh, bark hold area plantary uh, uh, infected uh, seeds you see growth is very uh, uh, slow but bark hold area plantary plus anthranilic acid no uh, sphingomonas when uh, added you see growth is uh, uh, like you know, the control that means anthra they confirm that uh, anthranilic acid secreted from the uh, sphingomonas uh, meloni uh, is the real uh, factor and these are the uh, quantitative data that is the uh, uh, re replicated experiment and most interestingly uh, they did uh, uh, some transcriptomic analysis 
to understand the mode of action of endophyte derived small molecule uh, and uh, rna seq analysis they did uh, and uh, uh, they uh, uh, found that uh, anthranilic acid interfere uh, the bio, uh, some biosynthetic uh, pathway of the uh, bacterium uh, bark hold area uh, and uh, they uh, propose partly uh, the mechanism but it is an interesting subject to do uh, more uh, work they did some complementary molecular docking studies anthranilic acid how bind to the you know protein of uh, uh, different proteins bind uh, of the uh, uh, how to say uh, bark hold area and they found that rpos site residue is very good for uh, binding this type of uh, study uh, is very interesting uh, clue for the further uh, research so this is all about uh, uh, this paper and they also uh, you know analyze the uh, biosynthesis of siderophore uh, production uh, and other uh, traits uh, in the sphingomonas uh, you know uh, uh, meloni as well as in presence of sphingomonas meloni how uh, uh, bio uh, you know virulence factors of the uh, bark hold area uh, plantary is affected uh, they uh, analyzed by using bioinformatics uh, tools and this is really an amazing publication and i think this paper uh, would uh, uh, be a starting point uh, for uh, many uh, uh, researchers uh, to start new research in uh, animal endophytes uh, plant endophytes or endophytes in other uh, kinds of uh, organisms. So uh, let us uh, discuss a, a, a little more and you can ask some questions. I shall share this paper with you and you can get uh, more insight how uh, in the environment uh, two bacteria uh, interact with each other. One is enemy of plant, another is the friend of plant and uh, the interact, uh, interacting result uh, confers uh, uh, confer the resistance of the uh, host uh, and uh, it uh, gives us uh, uh, a, a clear indication that similar phenomena may exist in other eukaryotic organisms and other ecosystems. And if we can prove it in other organisms, for example, other plants, and if we can prove it, it is a universal, maybe not sphingomonas, but another uh, species of bacteria playing a similar role by you, uh, secreting a small molecule uh, to suppress the enemy of the host. Uh, or similar other mechanism, uh, if it is, we can prove it, it is ubiquitous, in animal plant, uh, uh, then uh, uh, it could be published in weekly nature. So uh, please share your thoughts. Rahul Amin, you are uh, now online, I guess. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, it is actually a very nice paper. Um, uh, first of all, uh, I have uh, understood from this paper that in the we know the especially disease triangle animal ho host pathogen and uh, environment so you have mentioned the another th thing that the, uh, uh, that is the uh, that is fourth thing in a, in a uh, the, like square or that involve the probiotic that includes fourth matter to uh, simultaneously work together in that cases i think when there is already a bacteria in the nature or the environment so when the also uh, simultaneously pathogen also exists in that case i think the dose of the bacteria probiotic is not um, sufficient to control the particular pathogen and that's why we need the intervention in our lab uh, uh, to control such kind of uh, resistance yes one question is still remain to be solved 
why sphingomonas melonis uh, uh, are present in the uh, seed of resistant cultivar, not in the susceptible cultivar. Uh, because both are rice, uh, what are the factors regulating the natural presence of sphingomonas uh, melonis in the resistant cultivar? So there might be some host factor involved there that, you know, uh, uh, allow sphingomonas melonis love the, uh, you know, resistant cultivar, not the, uh, uh, you know, the susceptible cultivar. So this is not yet known. And if you can discover uh, this factor, uh, why uh, susceptible cultivar uh, is not uh, uh, the harboring uh, the sphingomonas melonis. The researcher didn't do, do the research when they add uh, sphingomonas melonis in the susceptible cultivar. It also show resistant against the, uh, you know, uh, the bark hold area plantary. What do you think? There is a gene expression level we, we can check. Uh, that means the compatibility at molecular level Compatibility of uh, the uh, probiotic uh, microorganism and host is still used, and it is also interesting. Already, uh, any thought? Um, maybe, maybe another thing in, in my mind, maybe. Um, different microorganism composition, com especially composition, is a vital fact also here. Yes, uh, in uh, uh, due to the presence of Spingomonas melonis uh, uh, in a dominant form in the resistant cultivar, surely uh, the microbiome, overall microbiome uh, in resistant and susceptible are different. And the, uh, the researcher, uh, the way they considered and only anthranilic acid uh, is the player. In the laboratory condition, they showed it uh, and it is very interesting, uh, a dominant factor. But there might be some other, uh, uh, you know, uh, indirect factors also help uh, uh, the resistant cultivar uh, to show fitness in the practical environment. Uh, that means that there is a, a still enormous scope, uh, not only to uh, detect the uh, pathogen or the probiotic, but also uh, the, the factors or mechanism which are involved to uh, it has the, it has the uh, beneficial or probiotic in the, in the disease resistant variety. Yes, you see in uh, science, especially in the developing uh, countries, most of the researchers uh, suffer from getting a new idea where uh, they can do the research. New idea is most important. New idea generates new knowledge and new knowledge is uh, you know important for new technology and if you uh, discover new knowledge you can publish a paper like nature plan most of the people what they do they just repeat the same thing in our country and this is why they cannot publish uh, uh, their paper uh, in uh, you know high rank journal uh, i am discussing with you because both of you are ready to start the research. How can the, uh, uh, the purpose of showing this paper in this uh, full lecture, how can we address science? How can we make new hypotheses for our research? How can we make new hypotheses for a new research project? So uh, this paper, I hope uh, 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 understanding of this paper uh, would uh, trigger in your mind lots of new ideas uh, to do research. For example, 
Uh, one question is hypothesis is whether uh, these phenomena exist in all other eukaryotic organisms. This is one thing. Second thing is that uh, here, uh, scientists uh, uh, scientist showed that bacteria-bacteria interaction is associated with the disease resistance. Uh, how, how, how about the fungal disease or the viral disease, nematode disease? Uh, uh, and uh, it is important to see whether anthranilic acid really uh, perform, uh, you know, uh, as an inhibitor against not only Burkholderia, uh, you know, plantary, but also other uh, pathogenic microorganism because resistant variety does not mean a single uh, resistant against a single mic uh, microorganisms. So uh, uh, it is uh, another point. Uh, and uh, another hypothesis is that why Spingomonas melonis uh, colonizes in the seed of resistant variety. This is really a, a big question. Uh, how, uh, 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 this uh, compatible relationship uh, what, what uh, the resistant variety uh, 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 variety has, but susceptible variety has not. So these are the fundamental questions. If you can solve one by one, not only in rice, uh, and if you can find the similar phenomena in other organisms, and you can step by step get the uh, clarification because many of the, you know, uh, this type of fundamental phenomena are conjured. Maybe here sphingomonas, but in other hosts, maybe other bacterium, uh, uh, probiotic bacterium like lactobacillus or bifidobacterium, special strain, because bacteria, for example, lactobacillus can be pathogenic. All lactobacillus are not the same. So strain to strain, hugely varied. Sphingomonas, some of them are, are even pathogenic but uh, at the strain level, oh, uh, they are incredibly different. So uh, these are the areas uh, we can explore and even we can pass our whole life, can discover new questions and go on. And they have huge practical implications. Uh, 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 this type of uh, new knowledge have huge practical implications for sustainable, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a agriculture in either crop production or animal production. It's a really interesting thing, sir, that uh, we have still enormous chance uh, to explore the uh, mechanism, uh, how uh, and the effect of the environment and the plant pathogen interaction or play, uh, whether the, this plant uh, uh, provided bacteria has the effect on the in case of animal whether they can affect on uh, uh, others uh, fish uh, uh, one thing is very interesting that that every day from a lecture we are getting uh, new knowledge uh, that basically the research gap where we can uh, uh, emphasize in future <laughs> thank you sir for your nice uh, discussion today uh, Rahul, i mean your comment is uh, very nice that is to find a research gap and not only research gap, you know, if you are a good player, for example, soccer player, you have to create a gap, otherwise you cannot play. <laughs> so gap is a very important uh, a, a, for a researcher, for a researcher to find a research area where less competitors are uh, available uh, in the world is also a smartness. Uh, then whatever you discover, uh, would be, uh, you know, useful for the uh, community and for the science. Roberti, what is your idea? You have been in Germany and uh, you uh, studied at University of Göttingen. Göttingen is famous for Nobel laureates. So from this uh, uh, discussion, today's discussion and from the paper published in Nature Plan, uh, what uh, are the major uh, points that uh, uh, are rolling in your mind. 
Can you tell me one by one, uh, uh, three, four or five points? Or do you have any question also? You Especially can... uh, finding a gap, is, it's, a, it's a really uh, uh, good idea uh, to initiate a new research uh, or research field. Um, I'm also wondering about uh, the uh, this um, the, the, this uh, uh, resistance is also bearing um, to generation to generation. So uh, I'm also wondering about this matter because they, they, uh, maybe they are involved uh, uh, involved changing in the gene level or something like that. Yeah, it's a good point. But what they showed uh, uh, from uh, the mother to the you know daughter, uh, uh, the, this endophyte is uh, 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 transferring uh, uh, generation to generation. And this is a really nice uh, uh, question. If we can manipulate, if we can manipulate the population of these Pimonas meloni, uh, how can we do it? We may find some ways to manipulate, to increase the uh, population of Sphingomonas melonis in the seed. Uh, for example, during flowering of rice, if you spray Sphingomonas melonis during seed development, uh, as Sphingomonas melonis are compatible to the rice seed, there is a high chance of uh, uh, getting higher number of or population of uh, uh, the Spingomonas melonis in the developed seed. And if you can do it, then you can sell those seeds in a very expensive price <laughs> because <laughs> these are, you know, are not genetically manipulation. Already population is there. You just increase the uh, number. That would be a wonderful way to do business and uh, to generate a new technology. They didn't do uh, this uh, thing. In our case, if we find some, uh, for example, we found uh, a bacterium isolated pro uh, as an endophyte of wheat, and it uh, shows uh, high uh, you know, resistance against the wheat blast. When we applied, we found it protects the wheat blast uh, fungus, but, uh, uh, we didn't do uh, research as they did. Uh, if we can apply this bacteria in the flowering stage of the uh, wheat and then uh, calculate the number of uh, bacteria present in the seed where we applied the bacteria as a spray and where we didn't apply the bacteria, uh, whether uh, our uh, you know, spray application increase the population of the endophyte, uh, uh, which uh, has the ability to protect the wheat from the uh, uh, blast fungus. That would be a fantastic job in uh, our case, and we can even uh, 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 you know patent this type of uh, technology. And nowadays, by using metagenomics or you know using some marker or gene expression, we can quantify it. What do you think? And uh, another also important thing is, sir, it's also segregating or not. Uh, it's also a vital factor because uh, when, uh, if one seed is bearing this gene, but uh, is it segregated or not? So I am giving you this paper uh, and you write, a, a, you know, uh, one small, uh, you know, essay. Uh, based on these papers, uh, what uh, is your understanding num uh, uh, with some points? Uh, what you understood from this paper? And what future research hypothesis could be generated from this uh, uh, work? So this is your assignment. And uh, please submit this assignment by next Friday. And I shall take an examination uh, of this course in next uh, 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 Sunday. Is it okay? First picture. Sir, as we have an, uh, another exam in Charles Delos, can you uh, 
what do you mean that uh, since we have an exam uh, this week can you shift it to the next uh, uh, monday i think monday no no i mean uh, reading this paper you write a small uh, you know review what you understood uh, already i discussed from this you know record you can find it yeah, and yeah. Uh, you give some you know highlights uh, of the discovery of this uh, 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 published paper and then you put uh, some hypothesis what further researches could be done so you submit Uh, by uh, uh, Friday, uh, even you can do uh, 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 spending uh, a few hours reading this paper. Uh, this is one job, and uh, next Sunday you shall have a midterm one exam. Okay. Any more question? No sir. Okay then. Thank you so much, and uh, I hope you will enjoy this paper. I am sharing it uh, to you uh, soon. Have a good day.